So welcome fellow problem solvers. Thank you for joining in. Remember to share, like and subscribe. As always, Johan and Oostezen. Um, integers, multiplying, dividing. I mean, this is truly how to work with it. We've already, in the previous video, seen how to add and subtract. But now we're going to multiply and divide. So share with your friends. Tell your parents if they don't know. And let's dive right into it. Welcome fellow problem solvers. Hope you're doing well. So today we are looking at the multiplication and division of integers. So again, as a, a start after this, I would like to link to the previous video uh, when I mentioned the following. The moment you've got a plus multiplied by a plus, the sign remains the same. It becomes a plus. The moment you've got a negative, times a negative, it functions as a positive. So remember, the dot is multiplication. The moment the signs differ, it will become a negative. So negative times a positive will give me a negative. And then, because the order doesn't matter with multiplication, it will also be a negative. Now, the same happens with division. So the moment I say a plus divided by a plus is it's equal to a plus, a negative divided by a negative is equal to a plus, and then a positive divided by a negative is equal to a negative, and then lastly, a negative divided by a positive is equal to a negative as well. So this is the key to uh, multiplying and, div um, and dividing correctly. Uh, let me show you an example. Example 1, negative 7 times negative 6. So first of all, we say a negative times a negative is equal to a positive, and then 6 times 7 is equal to 42. So, to make it easier, it's always good to first multiply the signs and then the numbers. Let's look at example 2. Plus 8. I don't need to mention or show the, show the 8. I could have just said 8 as well, because that automatically means a positive. Times negative 5. Now... The positive times the negative is equal to a negative, and the 8 times 5 is equal to 40. Let's look at number 3. Uh, 11. Let's make it a negative 11 times 23. You will see a negative times a positive is equal to a negative. 11 times 23 is 253. So hopefully this will help you just to look at the multiplication part. Now if we think of dividing and we say, let's say example 4, minus 400 divided by a positive 10. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. And 400 divided by 10 is equal to 40. You can see the same rules apply you now for multiplication and division. Let's look at number 5. So let's say you've got um, 77, negative 77, divided by negative 11. Let me ask the question. A negative divided by negative becomes a positive. And 77 divided by 11 is equal to? 7. So hopefully this will help you. Uh, we'll look at more um, problem solving techniques with the next video. All the best.